Hey, what's up, guys? This is Akshay from AS Learning, and today we're gonna see about Lux. So, Lux is a data visualization library, and uh, Dorsey Lee, the founder of Lux, once stated a bit of bragging in it that Lux will replace Matplotlib. Personally, I don't feel it that it will replace, but yeah, Lux is very much handy. And uh, if someone gets addicted to using Lux, they would very rarely shift to Matplotlib. So let's see what Lux is and what it provides for any data science lover. So for installing Lux, you just need to do a pip install Lux API. And along with that, you need two more extensions in your Jupyter notebook. So along with a pip install, you would need to also write these two commands. So these two extensions are needed into your Jupyter notebook to enable the Lux visualization. Okay, uh, the, this link you can find on the official PyPy page of Lux. Okay, now let's get started with the library. So here I've used Titanic dataset, the very renowned Titanic dataset for seeing the use cases of Lux. I've just done a simple import and I've imported pandas as PD. I have read the library and once when I try to call the data frame, you would see a toggle button here, toggle pandas and Lux. So if I do a toggle pandas Lux, boom, we have the visualizations of all the features. So in distribution, you can see we have the graph for fair. We also have the graph for age. Then if we see in occurrence, we have the categorical features like embarked, parge, siblings. Then uh, we have P class, sex, survived, cabin, tickets and name also. Okay. So just in a single click of a button, you have the distribution of all the features. Now, if you want to compare any two features, so all you need to do is just set the value of intent. So here, for example purpose, I've picked age and fair. So I've set the values of intent to age and fair, and then just call DF. And now when I click on the, the toggle button, here you can see that my age and fair distribution can be seen here. So this is the current visualization which I have selected in, in my piece of code here. And apart from that, the beauty of Lux is that it also recommends you. It recommends you some pieces of visualization. So here we have three options, enhance, filter and generalize. So in enhance what it does is the current visualization which you have selected that is fair and age what enhancement you can do to it. So if you add survive to it, we can see the distribution of fair and age along with survived. Then uh, if you add sex, how it how it would look if you have P class and all. Now this is the beauty of visualization recommendation and this is something which I have not seen in any other library. I have used Switwiz, I have used Pandas Profiling, Matplotlib, Seaborn. This is something which I'm seeing for the first time. Automated visualization and its recommendation. This is really beautiful. Then if we check the other option that is filter, here we can see that by setting a value of siblings as for, you can see the distribution of fair and age. You can also manipulate this filter here. Okay. And last but not the least, generalize. So as we had fair and age distribution together, so we just separate it out and check its generalized or a separated distribution of individually these two features. Okay. Now, if you love any graph and you want to export it, all you have to do is just click on the graph and just click on this export button. Now the graph, now, now my graph is exported. I just do a simple df.exported, store it, store it in my variable of viz and you can see 
boom my graph is available for us you can also download this graph okay so this is one of the other beauty of lux you can see the visualization and you can also export it now one more thing is that uh, if you want to compare any two features so you can do it in, in this way so here i've called uh, vis from lux.vis and imported vis and if i do embark is equal to c and fair fair and pass my data frame i see a comparison of these two features but this is not something special right this is something which you can do in matplotlib also now just look at the beauty now if i pass here or if i imported here this list instead of this and i pass just embarked is equal to question mark it would do me a comparison for all the values of embark along with p class so here you can see embark is equal to s p class embark is equal to c p class embark is equal to q p class and also embark is equal to n n and p class this is something which you won't find in any other libraries very less piece of code and very beautifully executed i personally feel that it won't replace matplotlib but if you want to see some basic distributions and all anyone would do and anyone would prefer it on one single click of a button then writing seven to eight lines of matplotlib code along with that with with this unique thing with this unique style of representation we have you can also see the interrelated feature comparison which is managed of all the attributes which are managed internally by lux along with that we have beautiful visualization recommendation also so this is something really nice and i feel that if someone gets handy on lux there would be most of the cases that he won't go to matplotlib yeah so that's it with this video guys the founder of this library is doris lee so a big shout out to her and her team and all the people who are contributing to, to the open source library of lux and uh if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your machine learning and Python friends and stay tuned to AS Learning for more such amazing content. Take care. Peace out.